Hi everyone, this is Mehmet Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about input output stream class which is IO stream class. Okay, so whenever we write a program in C++ or in any programming language, we write the programs for performing any task. So for performing that task, we might be required the help of many hardware devices like keyboard, or monitor so this will be happen that the program which we have written might require input from the user so for giving that input we need the help of keyboard and once that program accept the input from the user then after processing that input that program will give us the output and for displaying that output we will be required the help of monitor okay and our program should manage our program should access the hardware device which is monitor to display the output or our programming language should be capable enough in giving that support with which we can easily interact or communicate with all these hardware devices for communicating our program with these hardware devices we need a class and C++ provides that class or library which is called as input output stream class so this input output stream class provides some objects which is c in and c out with the help of these objects we can easily communicate with the hardware devices we can easily allow the user to enter the input and we can easily allow the users to view the output in the monitor okay so all this we will be going to discuss in this video so now let us first discuss the first point in c++ input and output operations are performed based on streams okay so here in c++ whether it is input or output operations both of these operations we performed based on streams and what is the stream stream is a sequence of bytes flowing in and out of the program okay so here in C++ both input and output operations we perform based on streams and streams are nothing but the sequence of bytes which flows between the program and the hardware devices so now the next point is during input operation data bytes flows from an input device such as keyboard to the program so during we perform the input operation suppose I want to provide a value to my program then I should use the keyboard when I will be pressing the key from my keyboard at that time I will be doing an input operation and at that time during that input operation data flows from my input device which is keyboard to the program and during the output operation data bytes flows from the program to an output device such as monitor okay so once I completed the input operation by providing the value to the program then program will process that input and after processing program will return that output to the screen and that is what output operation so when our program is providing the output to the user on the screen at that time your program is performing the output operations because in that case the sequence of bytes will be flowing from the program to the monitor next point these input and output streams acts as an intermediate between programmers and input output devices and these streams reduces the load of users to communicate directly with these hardware devices these input and output streams they are acting as an intermediate between the programmers and the hardware devices which are input and output devices because being a programmer I cannot directly access these hardware devices it will be very difficult for me to directly access these hardware so these input and output streams helps me to communicate in between the program and the hardware devices the next point is C++ provides an input output stream class which is capable enough in handling the communication between programs and hardware devices okay so whenever we will be writing the programs we might be required to accept the input from the keyboard and it will be required that we have to display the output on the screen so in both of these cases we have to access our program needs to access the hardware devices which is keyboard and monitor in C++ they have given us a class 
which is called as IO stream class. With the help of this IO stream class, it will be easier for us to easily communicate with input and output devices. Input output stream class gives us objects such as C in object and C out object. With this object, I can establish the communication between the program and these hardware devices. Last point in C, IO stream class provides C in object to accept data from the user from the keyboard. Okay, as I told you that in IO stream class we have certain objects which is C in C in object which is used to accept the data from the user with the help of keyboard. And IO stream class also offers another object which is C out object. With the help of this C out object, I can print the data on the screen. Okay, so these are the two objects which are present inside IO stream class, and we can use these objects C in and C out objects in our program to accept the data from the keyboard and to print the data on the monitor. Okay, so this is everything about IO stream class. Okay, so this is everything about IO stream class. Okay. So, uh, in this video, we have discussed everything about IO stream class and what are the objects of this class. So that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you understood each and every point of this video. If you like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.